Greetings, everyone. Jim here from Storm Warning News. And truckers are reporting no diesel fuel in parts of North Carolina, Oklahoma, and Tennessee. Let's have a look at some details. American truck drivers are sounding the alarm that diesel fuel is running out. Now, you may remember back on October 14 that the U.S. Energy Infrastructure Agency publicly stated the nation was down to 25 days of diesel fuel reserves. That would put the run out date to be Tuesday, November 8. Yet diesel fuel continues to be refined throughout the country. So while reserves may have been down to 25 days, there was still ongoing production. However, there is this video here, my friends, uh, that this truck driver made that we can take a look at that might put uh, some different, um, put a different perspective on this. Let's have a look. We're right here in small town, Royal, beautiful North Carolina. No diesel. No diesel. I've never in my lifetime seen this happen. And I thought all this 25 days of diesel fuel left in America was a bunch of BS. That's two stores right here in my little small town that ain't got no diesel fuel. Truckers are scavenging, can't find fuel. There's not fuel for probably 50 miles around here. It's not looking good. Now, evidently, similar videos have come out of Oklahoma within the past three days as well, and fuel distributors in Tennessee announced they had begun limiting purchase of diesel fuel in that state, too. So while diesel fuel remains in production, clearly something is very wrong with large areas within the U.S. are now openly running out of diesel fuel. And nobody, as this article says, no one is saying where the nation's supply of diesel fuel is going. Is it possible? This is just a theory that I have, my friends. Is this fuel being held aside for uh, impending and imminent military usage? In other words, is this fuel being put aside by the U.S. government to be used to fuel military equipment? tanks and trucks, for example, because as I know, I believe, I should say, I believe that those vehicles run on diesel fuel, and it would appear that we are on the verge of major military involvement in one or more arenas, and certainly the U.S. and NATO are going to be part of this. Is it possible that this fuel is being held aside, stored for military purposes. Just the theory that I have, uh, something we'll certainly keep an eye on. If this continues, we will all feel the effects of it. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.